Alrighty guys, we are going to show you all how to take a battery out of series. So when you're in the middle of nowhere and uh, we're going to get some help from our undergo lights here. Um, you wake up and you smell that rotten egg smell, you know you got a bad battery problem. So I just take this here bad boy off here. Peterbilt was so kind to make it easily accessible. Look at me do this one-handed and shit. So you wake up, you got that rotten egg smell, you know you got a battery bad. There's our batteries there. And take a look at this, guys. I don't know if you can tell. Okay. You see how the front of this battery here is kind of bulged out? This one's flat. And this one's flat. That's an indication. Best indication is to fill the battery. See that weep hole there? What it's doing is it's basically shorting out in here and it's cooking itself. I mean, you can't even touch this. See my other two batteries? You can touch these. They're warm. But they're not hot and they're not uh, basically venting the fluid that's in the batteries like this one is. This one here, you, can, you can't even touch it. And that's why you can smell it. That's why you get that rotten egg smell is because that battery is literally cooking itself. Now, a lot of people have four batteries. A lot of people, you know, have three batteries. This is a three battery system. I got my solenoid and stuff over here. The more lights we add, we're going to eventually have to run a fourth battery. Uh, but it comes from Peterbilt like this. So, But if you're in the middle of nowhere and you can't get to a place to get a battery, like me, I'm going to go back home because all these batteries are under warranty. Uh, I'm in Oklahoma City. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run it off of two batteries. Um, no, it's not going to hurt the truck. It's not going to fry an ECM or anything like that. Um, it's not brutally cold out here, so you don't need a lot of cold cranking amps. Uh, but basically what I'm going to do, and I can't do it holding the phone, but I can tell you what I'm going to do is, if you look through here, where your main cables come into the battery box. See that? So this is obviously our negative side. And, and, and this is real simple. They just loop them together. They tie them in a series. Same thing on the positive side. You can see the main cable comes in and runs over here. It goes to that pole there. And then they just loop them together. And that's how they tie the batteries. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take these ties that connect these two batteries here out. That one's hot. Okay. And we're going to move the main ground cable from this battery that's no good to here. Basically, essentially just disconnecting this battery from the pack. That'll allow us to drive um, without catching the truck on fire because batteries will catch on fire. It, it, once all this fluid is gone, there's nothing else but plastic. And it gets hot enough, it'll melt, and then it catches fire, and then your truck burns down. So don't just drive around with that rotten egg smell with your battery burning up for days and weeks as soon as I you know as soon as you smell this and you know that this battery you got a bad battery you want to get it changed it's a serious thing and also use protection guys uh, I've seen the tops of these the caps blow off of I've actually seen it uh, it didn't happen to me uh, but I was outside shooting the shit with another technician and when it happens, it's just like an explosion, like a firecracker. Um, so, as y'all can see, Chris takes precautions. Safety glasses, uh, bare minimum. So if it does blow up, at least uh, we're not going to go blind. So we don't we don't want to do that. You need to be able to see 2020, you know what I mean? Uh, so we're going to take this out of series. I'm going to get back with you guys. And we'll show you uh, before and after. So basically, here's before, you know, you can't, 
can't see that. Let me take this off. There's the before shot. Like I said, they just tie together. And we'll be right back with the after. Hey guys, that's all she that's all she wrote right there. We did that in about two minutes. As you can see, this battery is no longer hooked up to these other two. All we did was move our ground over to here, take the tie out, which is right there. Same thing on the, on the positive side. We didn't even have to move the main cable because it was on that first battery, so we just took the tie out. Uh, when you're dealing with batteries, your ground comes off first, and then you take your power off. Ground's off first, ground's on last. So you take it apart, take your ground off, then take your power off. When you're going back together, hook your power back up first, and then your ground. It's the way I've always been told. It's always worked good for me. Uh, never blown a fuse or broken anything yet when it comes to replacing batteries. So, alrighty guys, that's all we have for y'all today. Like I said, uh, pretty simple stuff. Um, but uh, hopefully this will reach somebody and maybe it'll help somebody out in case they're in a pinch and uh, not sure what's going on. Uh, as always, appreciate y'all for watching and we will catch y'all in the next vid. Thank you.